हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स फर्स्ट सी कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट Continue statement is used to skip the remaining statement inside the loop and transfers the control back to the beginning of the loop. Uh, again, as I always explain by the help of the example, let's see the code. C. When loop will start from the zero, then it will start printing the value from here. Okay, but when the i will be equal to three, then it will go inside the this if condition and will see the continue keyword now from here it will not execute further but will go back to the starting of the for loop and then it will uh, then it will set the i value equal to 4 and then will come inside and then i will not be equal to 3 then because i equal to 4 and then it will print the 4 here so this will be the output so see 0 1 2 and 4 so 3 is missed because at 3 we have this continue which do not allow the statement to execute further rather it will send it back to the starting of the loop so that is the continue statement now let me show you the break stand statement now so first let me the explain the break definition so break statement breaks the loop it's that simple it makes the control of the program to exit the loop okay so now let's see the same code here this is the same code the only thing is instead of continue we have break now now when i now this time when i equal to 3 then it will go inside here and it will see this break statement and now what break will do it will not execute uh, let the program to execute further but it will break the application out of the loop so it will not go to the starting of the loop which continue was doing but it will rather bring out of the loop so the output this time will be print 0 1 and 2 because at 3 the loop was breaked and so 3 and 4 are not printed so this is break so now let me show you the same thing in the visual studio code also see here is the continue first we are trying and we i put a breakpoint here let me run this program now here is the break statement now i will continue it it will go to the starting of the for loop and then it will come here and it will see 4 and then it will execute the expected output which is 0 1 2 4 now let's see the break so what break will do so we will run the program see right now the breakpoint is at the break line and then i will f10 it and it will suddenly go out of the loop so rest of the statements and will be not will not be executed so 0 1 2 no 3 and no 4 so this is the continue and break differences if you have any questions about this particular question then let me know and i will try to answer it as soon as possible